Now, this next story will likely break your heart. The never-ending task of rescuing pets from uncaring owners becomes a life-and-death struggle on a day like today. We find Paula Tutman crisscrossing the city, tailing Detroit animal control officers, and what she witnessed is shocking. The first thing I need you to know is I'm okay. I have on lots of layers and technical clothing, so it doesn't look like I have on a lot of clothing, but I actually do. So I want to show you this. I want to show you this house. We're on the city's northwest side. You see this house? You see all those icicles? That is because that kitchen is flooding. We're told that they can actually hear the water running inside the house. The people here left three weeks ago, and you're not going to believe this, but they actually left a dog. It is almost too gruesome to imagine. Good job, buddy. I know. A dog hiding out in a garage, not by choice. Why are you outside? <laughs> I don't even see a doghouse for you, Bonnie. He's all dog, all teeth, and all fear. But officers Christina Wilson and Lori Schaefer of Detroit Animal Care and Control have pure compassion. We're going to go get you warm. They've been on the move nonstop since coming on shift. We followed them from place to place to place as they crisscrossed the city looking for vulnerable strays in unimaginable areas. Yep, some tracks going on in here. The team cleared this abandoned house on the city's west side. It is cold, terrifying work. Who knows what's behind that open door? Animal control. They go in cautiously, but fearlessly, and then is on to yet another call. They look for uninformed pet owners who've kept their pets outside. Your call, got your call up, huh? But this particular call is the worst one. Unimaginable cruelty, an abandoned dog. Neighbors have been concerned for weeks. These temperatures, it, it's just heartbreaking, you know, and then if you're going to own the dog, take the responsibility for it. If you're going to leave it or if you're moving and you can't take it, find somewhere for it to go instead of let it freeze to death. I know, you can't go in there, buddy. It's way too cold and the store's wide open. The animal control officers assess the situation. I doubt anybody lives here. Door's wide open, flooding, way too cold for him. Look for a possible owner and then make friends with a dog. Here's a good baby. Come on. I know that's your house, sweetheart, but nobody's here. This shivering, bone-chilling weather, only a rescue will suffice. Good job, Baba. Oh, good job. Yeah, very good. Get y'all warm. No sooner than being rescued, another call comes in. Another animal needs rescue. I know this story is absolutely unconscionable, and you ask yourself, how can people do that to animals. Well, you know, obviously everybody is not bad. Stay with us at five o'clock. We've been taking a poll. How many people are out there actually helping their neighbors? We have a lovely story of a friendship that spans some 30 years and neighbors are helping neighbors cope with this cold. So I'll see you back at five. Back to you.